and 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 this this is tragic it is tragic because what he's saying is that this country has now condoned kleptomania. So one may say that uh, Ababu has breached the confidence of his political associate, but I want to take him to his word that he has chosen to wear the armor of truth and that he is prepared to fight forward. I'm not saying that he's without blemish, because I have, of course, he, he's saying that... Uh, that the, the others ate that is what is uh, is is, is uh, recording is saying and that an investigation is going on but that investigation is going to reveal not going to reveal much what i would want if i was investigating and this is one thing that i said early on whenever you start an investigation against any individual you engage in a lifestyle audit let him bring us his income tax returns during the period in question let him bring us his assets, including the properties registered in the names of their spouses in their maiden names and their children and companies registered in the names of their drivers and maids unwittingly, mm -hmm. as against their known income and as against what they are alleged to have taken. 90% of Kenyans in public office would forfeit what would increase our GDP by 20%. Overnight. Overnight. It's a, there's a very critical point here, something that we have lost. I want to agree with the PLO. That while we are talking about uh, MPs, that uh, they have eaten this, they have eaten that, we have lost sight of what was contained in the three reports that were tabled in Parliament and were adopted on the fourth, I believe it was, of uh, this month.